it's Amelia and thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, subscribe to my email list and check us out also on Patreon. So today's video is of tips for riding a new horse, a horse that you've never ridden before. This can be uh, really exciting to get on a horse that you've never ridden before, especially if you're looking at a horse to buy or maybe you're just riding a friend's horse. But there's definitely some tips that are really important to consider when you get on a new horse. So horses are all really different, right? Some are lazy, some are hot, some put their heads down, some put their heads up. Like there's a really big, um, range for how different horses are and likewise I think for the horses every rider is very different like I've definitely noticed that some people make horses hot other people make horses lazy you know some people are tall some are short some are skinny some are fat so for the horse too you know as different as different horses feel to us I'm sure that different riders feel very different to the horse. So here are my tips. And I'm gonna intersperse a little. I went down and visited my brother, who if you haven't checked out his channel, you should, he's awesome. I'll link it below. Um, but anyway, so Joseph has a four-year-old and he let me ride it, which is really cool. So my first tip is to observe the horse with its normal rider. So when I went down there, I had Joseph first ride the horse and I really was observing exactly what he did with the horse. So, you know, where he went in the arena, how he started the horse out, what the frame was, what gate he started in. Um, if the horse looked like it was lazy or hot, you can kind of tell that by how much leg they're having to put on. Um, and if they have whips or spurs, um, also like if the horse's normal rider doesn't have spurs or a whip, you definitely shouldn't get on the horse with spurs or a whip. Oh, so, and then also one thing that I really, really watch for when I'm watching someone ride a horse that I'm going to get on is that canter transition. So the canter transition can be like a really difficult transition for the horse because the, um, every rider's aid is a little different for the canter. So I really watch as I'm observing the horse with its normal rider, which lead they ask for first, how they ask for the canter, where they ask for a canter. Usually you want to ask for the canter as you come into a corner or on a circle coming towards the wall. Um, and then just and then just also the overall impression, like if the horse looks calm and relaxed. Um, so that's the first tip, really observe. If you go to try a horse and they will not ride the horse first, I would not get on the horse. Um, so definitely if they won't get on the horse first, I would just say, no, thank you, I'm, I'm not trying it. Also consider that if the horse is being naughty or difficult with its normal rider, it's probably going to be worse when you get on it because you're different. So make sure that you consider this. Like if I, when I'm in Europe and I'm trying horses, if the horse is being really difficult and naughty with its normal rider, I no pass. Like I don't have anything to prove and I don't want to get hurt. Um, so that's really important to consider. So my second tip for when you get on the horse is that once you observed the normal rider, now mimic. So that's tip number two is mimic what the normal rider did. So for example, when I got on Finch, after I'd seen Joseph ride him, I tried to do, I tried to ride like Joseph. So obviously I'm not Joseph but I tried to have the horse in the same frame, um, do the same types of exercises and figures. Obviously it's a four-year-old, so it's pretty simple, like simple circles, simple transitions, the same frame. Um, and then when I asked for the canner, so when you first ask a new horse to canner, and especially a young horse, I try to ask like, 
softly to start with and then gradually increase the pressure of my aid. What you don't want to do is do like way too much and scare the horse. So when I'm like lots of times when you go to Europe and you're trying young horses, you're trotting around, everything's feeling pretty good and then you kind of get to that point in your ride where you're like, okay, I should canter soon. And it's always tricky. You have to kind of find your way and take your time. So that's my advice. Take your time with that canter transition. Ask lightly if it doesn't work, rebalance, ask again, don't get in a hurry, give the horse the time. Um, try to make that first transition really nice and smooth. Um, so once you've first observed and then two that you've mimicked what the initial, the initial rider did, then test three would be to kind of test the horse a little bit depending on the situation. So if it's gone well, like you mimicking how the rider was riding the horse, then I like to, especially if I'm trying a horse to buy, I like to kind of try some new things, ask some new questions of the horse. So with Finch, for example, he felt really nice and relaxed. I did walk track canter both ways. I tried to just mimic how Joseph rode and kind of gain some trust from the horse. And then I said, okay, I'd like him to be a little better balanced, a little better connected, and try some trot canter trot transitions, which was a little bit more challenging for the horse at this phase. Um, so that would be the third thing is to kind of like test, um, ask some new questions of the horse, but really pay attention to the reaction that you get. So if you start testing the horse and it just gets upset and bothered and anxious and nervous, then maybe go back and kind of go back to mimicking how the other rider was riding it. Um, but that tells you something about the horse, right? If the horse is really like generous and willing and trying to try for you, or if the horse is very set in its ways. So comment below, tell me what you guys think about this. Tell me what tips you have um, or what things you've tried when you're riding a new horse for the first time. It's obviously really fun because riding different horses is like amazing. Sometimes they feel completely different than what you would expect. And the more horses you ride, the better rider you get to be. But Comment below, let me know if you have any other tips. Um, I love when you guys comment. We can get such a community going of people sharing ideas or stories. I love to hear from you. So thanks, and of course, thanks to my awesome brother, Joseph, for letting me ride Finch.